y'all and welcome back to my channel so in today's video actually we're doing something kind of fun so we're gonna do a closet clean out kind of pretty much um, Baba. Baba you wanna come say hi <laughs> so we're gonna do a closet clean out for this little boy um he needs some new clothes not really jeans or anything Ooh, he's standing under here I'm not really any jeans or shorts or anything mostly just sh um, like tops and shirts so we're gonna do a closet clean out today as well as we're gonna go shopping online for clothes we're not gonna go to Target or into the store just because COVID and I'd rather just do it from the cover of my bed I showed Liam's doing his coloring workbook um, yesterday he did a heart and then the day before he did a star and right now he just did the rectangle and it's kind of just for fun and for learning he has a little box of crayons that we got him oh you want to do the triangle you can do the triangle yeah that's fine so that is what we are up to I'm kind of debating on if I want to kind of go through the closet while he's awake or if I want to wait till he's asleep I feel like, you know, while he's awake, it might just be a little bit difficult because he is a little bit chaotic. Um, oh, he did the triangle. Look how cute. It's green. He colored the words green and the triangle yellow. The yellow might not show up. Oh, are you stepping on it now? Oh, my God. And so last night, um, today's Mardi Gras, actually. So happy Mardi Gras. But um, last night we did the king cake and I ended up getting the golden baby. Liam was so excited. He was running around, king cake, king cake, king cake, into what he finally got some king cake. He loved it. Um, we ordered the king cake from New Orleans because you can't really find king cake here. And if you can, it's not good. It does not taste like king cake. So, but anyways, we ordered one from a bakery in New Orleans. And Liam, right here, loved the king cake. Okay, so I am now going to kind of go through his closet. Liam's kind of hanging out with my dad right now. Yes, handsome? Maybe he's not. So we're going to start going through his closet and figuring out what we're going to donate and get rid of what's just going to go in the trash that's like shouldn't be donated. And so I know what I need to buy and how. This is pretty much all he has. There's a couple shirts that he has like in the washing, or not the washing machine, but the dryer. And usually these are all completely filled up. And then more. So we have like a good amount of clothes like right in front of me that we are getting rid of. Some of them I thought we had already gotten rid of. I guess not. There's like some things like this one. I don't know how it managed to still be in here. This one's 18 months. Definitely does not fit him. This one is 24 months and it only fit him for a little while even though it's super cute um this one i had already i know why i had this one though i love this one um like the print and everything it's so cute um the only reason that we i still have the top is because it was in texas then these are a 2t you know just pretty much i really liked this shirt um it was cute but it's 2t most of this is all 2t other than this this was a 24 months and i was so shocked that we still have this because i know for a fact this does not fit him because it did fit him in like october september so um yeah so that is pretty much right now then i'll see what else we have that's in the wash and the dryer um there's not very much of his stuff it was mostly my stuff and like some of his jeans and then later on we will hop on like i guess amazon target um H&M and kind of just go from there and figure out what to get him um I will obviously I will do that when he's asleep and then we will try and figure out and get him some new clothes that fit him I just 
finish folding all the clothes that don't fit him um, nicely. Some of them I did throw away that were like stained or anything, but these ones are all good and can be donated. Liam is now asleep. Um, and I just got laundry done and put away. Liam only had about four shirts, so he definitely needs some. And he does need a couple pairs of shorts because I do realize, you know, jeans are not going to really be too good in this Florida heat. Okay, so my like home screen is really cute. It's me and Liam. I can't really tell, but it's on my Instagram, the picture. So, and then my home screen is again me and Liam, of course. So I kind of have an idea. I also want to get him a bathing suit. Um, he's going to need it in April for sure. But the pool, we have a pool right by us. Um, and like we have his water table. So I definitely need to get him a bathing suit. Oh my god, wow. Okay, so I went on Facebook and look, hold on. Let me turn down my brain so y'all can see. This is by um, my mom's. Can't really see as well but there's like snow all right there I actually went there um I was there in October and I got to meet Kaylin and Marley and if you go on my Instagram you can actually see but um all of our kids got to meet and they had so much fun I have made it on to Target online and I'm just gonna go in and apply some filters to make it short sleeves because um good just it is okay so 4t and then let's see what else target is usually for me like a hit or a miss especially like by me um they never really have liam size which sucks and short so i'm doing short sleeve and sleeveless let's see target is kind of looking like it's gonna be a miss this time they don't have anything that I particularly like to dress Liam in. I always, so I feel like, you know, I see this like as a common kind of thing, it's like feeling between like boy moms, that there's way more options when it comes to like girls clothes, ex like for little girl clothes that are cute than for like boys. Boy stuff is always like, oh, uh, like heartbreaker, like mama's little boy. Um, I don't know, like, like little sayings and stuff like that. And I'm not, like the biggest fan of stuff like that and then the little girl stuff is like so cute um so it sucks sometimes and i have a couple of like boy mom friends who all kind of feel the same way that's like super hard to like pick and we don't have as many options when it comes to like having boys which really suck target tonight was a fail so now we're going to h and m and let's see what we can find. Sometimes I have like really good luck with H&M and then other times um, it's not. So I feel like it just depends. Oh, okay, this is kind of cute, except it's long sleeves. So I can't really, hold on, let me see if I can filter. Oh, okay, perfect. So sort and filter okay, by size. I guess we're gonna go to Amazon now and Maybe we'll have some better luck on Amazon. If y'all have like any suggestions um, where y'all like to shop for baby boy clothes, please stick those down in the description box because um, this mama would love some help. Hmm. Maybe let's try changing because right now it's like a lot of like movies like Paw Patrol, um, Mickey, um, The Lion King. He doesn't watch any. He doesn't watch stuff like that, so he doesn't know who any of those people are so I'm not going to dress them in that. I I really hate how difficult it is to find like clothes for boys but I'm probably going to go to bed. It's almost 1am and I'm tired and I will probably pick this back up in the morning. So Ma? it is now the next morning. We got to actually sleep in a little bit. I am now looking at Kohl's. I found a couple things, three things at JCPenney that I liked. I found um, one shirt at Macy's that I thought was cute. So right now I'm just going through Kohl's trying to see if I can find anything that I like. Okay, so I am on Zara right now. I've actually never looked at Zara for baby clothes, like clothes at all. I don't know. 
I saw a TikTok while I was like taking my little break about like clothes at Zara being cute. And I was like, I wonder if they have baby clothes. They do. And they I have some cute stuff. Um, they have a bit more long sleeves, but they do have a really like good cute couple of things and i've found a couple things that i really enjoy Ooh, okay let's see the colors i uh, i end up ordering shirts from zara i got five of them um and they weren't really expensive at all i got five and then also with tax and shipping it was only 53 dollars which i think is really good when my jc penny for two shirts is $35 and I'm, I'm kind of questioning it and I don't know the shirts from Zara right now and then I'll go back later and if I need more I feel like five shirts should be good for now because he does still have some things and as it gets closer to summer I will probably come back on here and get some more things um I will go on Amazon and order him some shorts he's on a walk right now though look who is back can you say hi mm -hmm. uh-oh you want to say hi, Liam? Mm -hmm. And he, he's eating some fruit snacks right now. Would you like to say hi? <laughs> I love you, handsome. Mm -hmm. Beep beep. Yes, I see the beep beeps. Mm -hmm. Mama, mama, mama. <laughs> so I'm usually not one who lets Liam really watch stuff on like YouTube or anything but he's like has his major obsession with Monster Jam and he's smashing his cars and actually right now his cars are sitting there watching Monster Jam with him and it's like the cutest thing in the entire world. Are you having fun? <laughs> He's like in his own like little world doing this. We're about to run over to Publix because I'm going to make crawfish etouffee for dinner and we need tomatoes and onions, um, green onions, but I have the crawfish and I have the etouffee stuff, um, the real one. I got it from Texas while I was there, so let's get Liam and myself dressed so we can run into Publix. <laughs> So I am still making etouffee. Um, my dad was peeling crawfish and he's taking a little break and I'm just waiting a little bit trying to watch Liam. Um, it is super hot in the kitchen and it's way past Liam's bedtime. It's already like 7.30, um, 7.15. Liam's bedtime, he's usually trying to get him in bed by 6.30 and then like even if he doesn't fall asleep right then um, just to rest. So it's actually going to be a super late night to him because it's etouffee and he's going to need a bath. So hopefully he sleeps in tomorrow. And I don't really have too much to get done tonight other than cleaning and laundry and studying. I am going to bye. end. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 I am bye. going to end today's vlog right here. Bye. 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 We did not end up vlogging bye. afterwards. I got bye. Liam. Bye. 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 I got him baby. Bye, 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 bye. I got him. Bye. I got him bathed and put to bed, and then I kind of rested bye, for a bye, bit. Bye, bye, bye. And then I ended up going to work woo. out, and I showered. Just got done what I needed it to get done before going to bed, and I just didn't vlog any of that. But I want to say thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions about where you like to shop for boy clothes, 
let me know in the comments but anyways if you have not yet be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up make sure you're subscribed so you can join our little family here and turn your post notifications on so that you never miss a video from us and go check out one of our previous videos that's gonna pop up somewhere where my face is as always i love you all so much and thank you for watching today's video hi what are you doing <laughs>